Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Know Your Charity here on Ramadan TV channel 346 on DSTV. My name is Faraz Patel. The organization that is in discussion today is the Red Cross Children's Hospital. They are based out in Cape Town. And joining me to discuss this, I'd like them to welcome the HR manager of this organization, Sister Aisha Sullivan. Sister Aisha, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and jazakallah so much for joining us. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm Khairul um, for having us um, on your program today um, from the Children's Hospital Trust. Now it's an absolute pleasure to have you here. When, when we talk about uh, the Red Cross, of course, you know, one name springs to mind that is, of course, uh, Florence Nightingale when she was a nurse during the early European wars in the 1800s. But it's a brand that has now transcended into many other hospitals. And one of them, of course, finds itself in Cape Town. Sister Aisha, the history of this specific hospital, the Children's Hospital Trust, how did it come about and why was there a necessity for it to occur? Subhanallah, you know, the, the Children's Hospital Trust is an independent non-profit organization that was established in 1994, specifically to raise funds to support um, specific projects and programs in order to advance health care through the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital um, Pediatric Facilities. So, so we, we aim to raise funds for upgrades and expansion of hospital buildings, the purchase of state-of-the-art medical equipment, new medical treatment projects, and funds for training um, of medical professionals, um, not only in the Western Cape or Cape Town or in South Africa, but across sub-Saharan Africa to ensure that all children are provided with high quality and accessible health care. So the Children's Hospital Trust, as a, a non-profit organization, is specifically, specifically established to raise funds for pediatric health care and in the public sector. So we support the public sector being um, the Red Cross Children's War Memorial um, Hospital. Um, that is the only hospital in Sub-Saharan Africa dedicated purely for children. And then also we have raised funds for various other pediatric programs within other district hospitals, um, as well as other um, tertiary facilities like the Hrotskia neonatal we've done in the past. We've also upgraded the inpatient facility of, um, of Victoria Hospital um, in, in Weinberg. So the trust relies on, on the donations from the community um, in order to, to raise these funds. And also 100% of our donation goes towards funding the projects. And, and in so that this, I mean, the, the funds go specifically to changing the lives of children. Your funds go specifically in terms of healing um, to those who are most vulnerable in the community. So nothing goes to any administration, not anything of the sort. So the generous donations goes purely to 100% of the projects that we raise funds for. Sister Aisha, you know, we know the children are the future. And I mean, I know it's a cliche that is spoken all across uh, the world, but in order to assist them, in order to make sure that they get the best uh, medical health, especially those children who have, you know, certain diseases or just come there for the minor bruises or anything because children play, children get hurt. We all see that happening. But how important is it that children get the best health care possible? Because, you know, you can't really rely on the public health system in South Africa. There has to be, you know, other certain hospitals that can cater for children. We know that in the private medical institutions, it's very expensive because you need, of course, medical aid for that. So how important is an organization like the Red Cross Children's Hospital Trust in helping children to get the best and necessary health care? Subhanallah, you know, this is an organization that, um, you know, we, we, we aim to, to still run very much into the future. And to answer your question, I'm going to specifically refer to our current project, um, which is one of our sister care facilities, um, Victoria Hospital. And we are currently focused on raising funds for the outpatients pediatric department. Um, so, so, so this is, you know, the importance of an organization like this 
um, needs to be established and we need to have a specialized entity like the Children's Hospital Trust that is purely focused on enhancing healthcare specifically for children. I'm going to refer to your cliche statement specifically for our future. Um, and 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 our our project now um, for the month of Ramadan, we're aiming to raise for three million. This is a smaller piece of a bigger target, which is ten million of a project that we need to start. So currently, Victoria Hospital is based in Weinberg um, in Cape Town, and the hospital's outpatient facility um, extend. I mean, it runs about five to six clinics on a weekly basis. And this is an outpatient facility that sees over seven thousand patients annually. So, so what happens is that with Red Cross Children's Hospital being the specialist care facility, um, right, and we see, it's almost, I think it's close to 250,000 children on an annual basis, but there are times when Red Cross Children's Hospital can't actually, um, you know, access um, all the kids. And for that reason, um, we need sister hospitals like Victoria Hospital, but we also, the Children's Hospital Trust needs to equip the Victoria Hospital with the same facilities as well as the same sub, uh, subspecialist care that we can provide at, um, at, at Red Cross Children's Hospital because of the area that it's based in. So with the Children's Hospital Trust, we are allowing patients and parents that lives within the that sort of district areas um, that includes Weinberg, um, K, Weinberg, Hart Bay, um, uh, what's it, uh, uh, Massimo Pulele, Retreat, um, Hangbar, Yetu, um, all of those areas that are close to Victoria Hospital. And I'm sure some of the viewers doesn't even know that, no, have any idea where these areas are. But they're quite farly based. So Red Cross Children's Hospital is based in Rondebosch and um, Victoria Hospital is based in, in Weinberg. And it would take a patient probably about two or three taxis, which is, you know, 100, 150 then to travel to um, all the way to Rondebosch, whereas they can just travel to Victoria Hospital and actually get the care. So these areas that I've mentioned as well are, are, are disadvantaged areas. And most of the community in these areas are either, um, you know, they're unemployed um, and they can't afford the 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 um, access health care can't afford to access private health care and hence why they access the health care facilities within the public so the public health care facilities and and you know we i'm speaking to the viewers out there that the children's hospital trust wants to give communities that i've just mentioned right now the same quality health care that someone that can afford to pay for their medical aid and that can afford medical aid on a monthly basis and can afford to go to an inter to a to a private health care facility and get this treatment we aim to give this to those that cannot afford to do it now, alhamdulillah. One final question before we go to the break, uh, Sister Aisha. How much has COVID-19 uh, taught, you know, the, the medical fraternity of how, more, how, how, how important now is medical care for children than it was probably before? Because, you know, a lot of people would turn a blind eye to it and say, well, you know what, uh, you can have a hospital, but what is the, the need for a hospital in a bigger sense, but how much has COVID-19 really opened up the eyes in the medical fraternity? SubhanAllah, I think it's, 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 it's not only awoken the eyes of the medical fraternity, but it's also awoken the eyes of the entire community, our, our local, our national, as well as our international community. And, and I think our, uh, not I think, I know our hospitals took huge strain during um, you know the peak times of our pandemic, and sadly, so I must say, you know the the, the Victoria Children's the Victoria Hospital, the outpatient department, is currently cramped as well as underventilated. So you can imagine what it was like for a child going to Victoria Hospital and not being able to get the care facility in such a this child that stayed in an area. Um, like Hangbar or the treat, where it's easier for them to access a hospital which is on their doorstep and to then be referred to the Red Cross Children's Hospital. And in such, even the Red Cross Children's Hospital um, at a point was unable 
um, to give the best care because of, 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 of the influx of patients that it was getting, um, not only through inpatients, but also outpatients. So subhanAllah, um, you know, it's, it, it's taught the entire um, community at large so much in terms of the importance of having a healthcare facility that is able to accommodate whatever crisis should come our way. Um, and now we're going to focus on the outpatient department of Victoria Hospital, and they have um, general pediatrics, neurodevelopment, allergies, and infectious diseases. And as we know, COVID-19 is one of the most infectious diseases that has come around in our time. So, so we, we, we purely link to this need and this aid, and even what we have gone through um, with COVID-19. So there's a huge importance for our hospitals to expand, for hospitals to up Create for hospitals to have the healthcare facilities to be able to provide the healing to our most vulnerable in the community. At the same time, for us, we're also caring for the healthcare workers and providing them with an environment which is conducive for them to actually perform as doctors within the best care and have the best equipment and tools to work with to heal our children so that they can thrive and grow and develop in the community. Now, alhamdulillah. Well, this conversation will continue after the break. I am in discussion with Sister Aisha Solomon from the Red Cross Children's Hospital Trust. Do stay tuned to Know Your Charity. We'll see you after the break. <laughs> 